Today is July 7th, 2019, and this is Carol Trego. I'm at the very front of my yard. This is um, the Coreopsis on the hill here. Um, we had rain last night, so a lot of the flower petals got knocked off, but you can see that there is still a lot of things blooming in the front yard. Swing around here. Here's a patch of flowering tobacco and also the tall verbena is starting to bloom. Um, I didn't plant these here. They just reseeded. Um, came back from last year. So I'm going to walk up the driveway. It's really hot and muggy today. This is a good time really to look at day lilies and other flowers because the sun's not out as bright on the plants. In this little area here, I have a new kind of salvia growing. It's called Big Blue. Uh, I just actually pinched it back. And then there's three little potted salvias that were seedlings and a pineapple, um, honey pineapple sage, and there's one of those verbenas. I'm just trying to let these grow and get bigger before I either plant them in the garden, at least the ones in the pot. Um, waiting to see if they're a different color than the actual plant that they came from. They uh, came from rockin' deep purple. So we'll see what happens. If I swing around here, you'll see there is a uh, lantana in the pot and there's a big um, lace cap hydrangea bush that's blooming very nice right now and the bee balm really bloomed nice this year and as you can see a lot of the petals got knocked off from the rain yesterday uh, the flocks are starting to bloom and also there's some day lilies here um, right here I have three porter weeds. Um, they're getting the spikes and the flower spikes, so it won't be too long, a few days, and you'll see one little tiny flower coming out of each spike. And the butterflies and the hummingbirds really like those. Um, in among the bee balm, I have a potted tithonian, a Mexican sunflower, and that also is really liked by the hummingbirds and the butterflies. I'm going to walk in through the bee balm here. And I'm just now starting to see some butterflies. If you look down here, you'll see I transplanted some honey pineapple sages. So in a few weeks, they'll be actually a foot or more taller and maybe start to see some red blooms on them and that is a rock and deep purple seedling or I should say cutting that I had and the, the butterfly bush just started to bloom open up so there should be butterflies and hummingbirds that use that and you can see the tithonium there it's in a pot I bought it this year um, and it, it was pinched back so it's fuller than the tall ones that I usually grow by seed and I have some growing by seed also. Um, just swinging around here again I should show you this lace cap hydrangea that used to be in the shade and it's no longer in the shade and it still does pretty well but the bloom is really good this year. I'm going to turn it off uh, right now and go over to the other side of the path. So we'll continue for number two video. This is number one.